What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. Going to be playing a game on Pete's TGO today. And today we are rocking Aaron Rucker's Metagross deck. It was a fun deck to play when I played it a couple weeks ago. Awesome list from the top four of the uh, Oaks, Pennsylvania Regional Championship. So it's a lot of fun to play. I love, I just want to get Solgaleo out. Is that too much to ask? I just want to get a Solgaleo GX into play. I want to knock some things out. This deck should be really good against these stall decks. It should be really good against Sylveon. It should be really good against that Steelix deck as well. We should just be able to get a Solgaleo GX into the active. Countercatcher doesn't matter. We've got uh, whatever Solgaleo GX's ability is allows us to put varying Pokemon into the active position. This deck just should be fantastic against those things. So we're going to see how we end up doing here. Got a couple of Beldums. Cynthia turn one. It's looking pretty strong. So let's get into it. What is my opponent playing? HP 4003. Hello, HP 4003. What do you got for us today? Uh, I think I saw some lightning maybe on there on the thing. Could be a shrine deck. That's kind of what I'm anticipating anyway. It's kind of what I assume when I don't see things. So this could be Coco Lugia Shrine. I feel like we are usually pretty good against those kinds of decks. And we've got lots of max potions. Uh, yes, there are Cocos. There are Psychics. This is looking like a Malamar Shrine deck, probably with Shining Lugia if I had to guess. We've got Acro Bikes as well. This is looking pretty similar to my list that I have for the deck. So Awesome stuff. Uh, let's see what my opponent's got in store for me. As far as this matchup goes, uh, yes, the shrines are going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, will I be able to get Solgaleo out? Uh, yeah, but I probably shouldn't, right? Because I don't need to do 230 damage. So as much as I want to get Solgaleo into play, I don't think this is the. Uh, I don't think this is necessarily the game to get Solgaleo into play. I think we are just going to be rocking Metagross is here, trying to heal them off. I also don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it to play the non-GX one. I think what he does like 120 or something. And with the Tapu Koko's resisting, it's just like not good numbers for you. So let's see, uh, well we do play the, uh, one. we could do 130, we do play the, uh, we play that Delmice. So we could get that thing out. That actually would be fine. So the more I'm thinking about it, maybe that's what we end up doing. Let's go here, and then let's just Cynthia turn one. No point in judging my opponent, especially when I don't have anything going on myself. And then we ain't got it like that, but that's fine. We have three. I think, do we put down three is the question. I feel like we do. Uh, we're going to end up lilying anyway. So let's just, uh, I don't think there's any point in core beaming either. I think we just wait here like this. And then next turn, we're going to Lily, we're going to draw some cards, we're going to evolve into Metang, hopefully we can get a rare candy off that Lily. That would be nuts, because then we could get ourselves an Algorithm GX, and just hope that they don't respond to that. But my opponent is going to Lily Town, they're going to get Flying Flip going this turn with these awesome Shining Tapu Koko promos. Why do I not have these? I really want them. They are very, very cool. Very cool, shiny Tapu Kokos here. Definitely feeling that. That is awesome. So yeah, they're probably going to hard retreat here. Yup. And they are moving on to Tapu Koko. And they're just going to try to kind of just get me softened up here real quick before I have a chance to really do much of anything. I am going to evolve Metang, uh, one of my bench dudes, into Metang here. Hope that I rip this rare candy. We've got an Ultra Ball as well. So I think that we just Ultra Ball away actually uh the guzma and that metal energy there and we get ourselves two metangs and then we end up just lilying for five and hope that we get it i think that seems like the most reasonable thing to me and if we don't get it that's fine we're gonna have some metagrosses next turn so let's go ahead lily here come on lily get us a rare candy no uh, that's a hard no so that's fine. We'll just uh, algorithm next turn. Really, we've got plenty of time here. I think that, huh, it's tough. It's a tough call because they're spreading. I mean, I need to take six prizes. Max Potion does a lot, though, and they're not doing a lot of damage to me. So I should be, like, okay. Core Beam does nothing to this thing. Let's just... Let's just pass, yeah. And we're gonna try and save our max potions for when it's like absolutely necessary. We really don't want to blow any of these max potions 
early. We want to wait till our dudes have like a ton of damage on them before we try to capitalize on that. But I do kind of need, yeah, I need this Beldum to like definitely not get knocked out. I really want to get three Metagross into play so that I can kind of just continually retreat between them and just knock out any threat that my opponent puts in the active. Now, the shrine is going to be very annoying. What is this? They've also got the people in here. So they've got a 1-1 Naga Nadal GX line in here, I'm assuming. And I'm guessing that that is there so that they can use that GX attack. Now, why they would want to just accelerate, I guess they can just accelerate the game to three prizes each. But what is that? I don't know. That's kind of a crazy play. So we got it here. That's funny enough. We were one card short. So we've now we've got three Metagross into play, which is cool. I don't think that I need three Metagross yet, but, you know, and then I just start taking residual damage for, like, nothing. So, but I do need two in play for sure. And I feel like we probably just play the third. I don't think that there's really any disadvantage to that. And then let's just go in with Cynthia. Try to get myself a metal energy is what we need. Uh, and, uh, yep, so we missed that. That's fine. And then let's see here. I guess I wanted to, like, my, my thought was that I wanted to um, just tank with these Metagross GXs and not get the other one, not get the non-GX one out. But maybe the non-GX one's the way to go. I, I don't know. We're, we're all learning here. So let's Geotech to the active. And then I think we just algorithm and go from there. I definitely need to take care of these Cocos, though. Like, this is doing way too much. So let's get ourselves, uh, let's see. He does, like, I can't, I, I hate that you can't, like, look at the card when you want to look at it there. Let's just get, like, a bunch of max potions in our hand. And then probably also another, like, some, yeah, some metal energies. Let's get some of those in our hand as well. And then, uh... Oh my gosh, if my opponent plays this GX, that's going to be so crazy. And also maybe a Guzma. That seems fine. Yeah, let's do that. So just going to get all the max potions, Guzma, Metal Energy, cool. And we should kind of be able to go from there. But I am worried that we might not be able to win in time by the time my three Metagross melt. Uh, I really wish that I was able to take a prize this time turn if they do get themselves into a situation where they can move all the damage around that's kind of fine i feel like if they move damage around to knock out a metagross like they're healing two of my other metagross so that's more or less not a problem uh, i'm not super concerned about that Let's see what are they going to ultra ball here they're gonna ultra, ultra ball away two more they're probably going to get a malamar yep and then they could psychic recharge i guess onto the people but i think it'd be a bad play for them to use the Stinger GX, unless they are like, I guess the idea is that they spread and spread and spread without taking prizes, right? And then they Stinger GX, um, and then they think that they can maybe move all the damage around for three prizes to take real quick. I think maybe I do get the Solgaleo out. I could see it, you know? Uh, it's not like the worst thing ever. So I think there's no harm in like nest balling for just the one guy. So that if my opponent does Stinger GX, I just want to, I want him, right? So I don't think there's any harm in just getting him out just in case, uh, you know, my opponent does Stinger and then I can just go knock it out. So that's kind of, that's kind of my thought there. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's get a hammer, knock this thing out and we'll go from there. I don't really want to ruin this hand at all. I like this hand a lot with max potions and all that. I think I just let my opponent stinger, uh, honestly. I would, like, almost, I just don't care if they stinger. If they stinger, I'm going, like, max potion, max potion, max potion, knockout, and I'll go to one prize. So I really, like, kind of hope that they do. I think they have to wait for the ideal opportunity, though. They have to wait till I'm, like, I've taken, like, five prizes. But, I you know, if they, if they, like, wait too long to stinger, I'm just going to Guzma that thing when I get to like two or one prizes remaining, they're not gonna be able to pull it out of nowhere. I'm gonna see that coming from like a mile away. So I don't think that it's uh, necessarily, you know, the best strategy. Let's see here. I'm starting to look a little weak though, and they are just, they're set on just flying flipping like every turn here. So let's see, hmm, it's a little bit of a tough call. 
I guess. Uh, I don't. I don't really mind actually. If they knock that thing out, they knock it out. All right. Let's just retreat into one of these, and then we will accelerate three times geotech systems, and then we're going to knock out the active cocoa. I feel like we need to keep knocking out these cocos. They are definitely like the most annoying thing going on right now. And then I guess I just have the max potions in my hand for when they when they do stinger. I think that's when I use the max potions, right? Like so that they can't follow through on their plan. So I have four. I've got them all in my hand. This seems pretty ideal here. I think we kind of just stay to the course. If they decide to like knock out one of my metagrosses with a Lugia or something, then their stinger just gets way worse. So I don't think that they're going to do that because that just makes their stinger GX like less effect. There'd be no point in doing it, right? So I think that they plan on kind of doing this shake and bake strategy and we plan on just foiling it and that's just going to be the way that it is. And I don't really see any way for my opponent to get around it. They're just going to keep doing this, keep doing this. Eventually, they'll rearrange the damage. I don't think that they'll be able to knock out. I, I'll like max potion one time so that they don't knock out like two GXs by moving damage counters around. I need to make sure they don't do that. And they won't do that until they've stingered. So I should like be safe. It seems like a very linear strategy that my opponent's going for here. I can kind of see it, you know, coming to fruition. The question is, can I avoid it? Right? That's the that's the big if. Can I can I make it so that this doesn't happen? Right? Uh, I think I want to get rid of that. Seems fine. Let's just get rid of those. Uh, I think at this point, like I do want the Soul Galio. I think having the Soul Galio out is better than not having the Solgaleo out because I don't want that Cosmog to just get knocked out. Let's just uh, let's just do that. Get him into play. And then I think that we just retreat into uh, we can retreat into Solgaleo and Sunsteel Strike. That kind of feels fine, right? I don't think that there's any point in like not doing that at this point. And we just probably just keep using uh, Sun Steel Strike, and just go from there. Eventually, we'll have to max potion, but you know, whatever. So let's just do that. Geotech, Geotech, and Sun Steel Strike. I just uh, a little weirded out by the timing of this. I wish I had time to really sit down and think about it, but you know, we we out here filming, so we're kind of we're kind of winging it, and I'm trying to just figure it out on the fly here. I think that the game plan is that they don't want to take prizes until they've stingered. They wouldn't be charging this people up unless they wanted to stinger. So we're looking at, we've got like 300, uh, What? so that's 340, plus 170 is 410, 510, 560 damage on board, which means they can knock out two GXs. So they could stinger, bring us to three, and then they could win the game the following turn. But they would have to stinger like right now, or they'd have to stinger like next turn or, or something like that. I think that uh, you know, I think it's think it's fine. I, I don't really. Uh, I think if I Guzma up and knock out, I think I just Guzma and like knock out the people. Honestly, yeah, I could like I could even do it now. Like now, probably this feels like the best time to just do it. I feel like. This is just like gone on way too far. I have like three prizes left to take. Uh, my opponent's gonna stream Tapu Cocos. Like we know this at this point. There is no avoiding that. So let's just uh, let's just play some Max Potion. Sure. Let's just heal these guys off. They're getting a little too uh, close to, you know, being knocked out for my comfort level. And I think that my opponent is getting to a point where they could maybe just like stream big, you know, one hit knockouts. And I don't I don't want that. So. Let's just Guzma up the people at this point. We like don't want my opponent really to do that um, annoying uh, thing there. So we're gonna try to avoid it. So let's just go three onto the active Metagross and we will knock this guy out and go from there. Still have one max potion that I'm gonna hang on to just to kind of keep in the tank here so that we can maybe deflect some sort of aggression that my opponent shows here. But at this point, we have only got you know two more prizes left to take. We kind of foiled their plan there with the people getting knocked out. I think 
you know, it's not perfect. It's not foolproof. They could bring up people onto their bench next turn if they have Rescue Stretcher in their hand, which I'm assuming they play like a lot, but they've already played at least two. Uh, no, they've only played one. Okay, so they could just have Rescue Stretcher in their hand, bring the, the Poipo back into play. Yeah, and they'll just bring that Poipo back into play, and they're going to go for the Stinger next turn. So that's kind of frustrating. I need another copy of Guzma to bring that up and knock it out again to make sure that doesn't happen that or i could just judge my opponent this next turn uh, that's an option as well just to try to like you know mess with their hand a little bit but they do have a very small hand we'll see if they play a supporter this turn if they don't then you know maybe we just let it stick and kind of hope that they ain't got it like that got two guzmas in deck so we could top deck a guzma which would be pretty sweet right because then we just take out the Poipo and we definitely win. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! We are too good at this game. Let's. Uh, I was gonna say let's let's not mess this up. But I do have Ultra Road. Ultra Road just like uh, once you turn for your deck, you switch your active Pokemon one, your bench Pokemon. Yeah, let's just Ultra Road uh, this Solgaleo into the active position. Foil my opponent completely. Gosh, we are too good at this game. Let's bring up the People Person and knock it out and then that should just be game i don't think that there's anything that my opponent can do to stop me now i don't think that they can put nearly enough why am i i do not want to geotech systems but that was a misclick i meant to click giga hammer but uh oh well we're fine all right let's giga hammer knock this thing out and then we just got one prize left to take my opponent has not taken any prizes and i think it's just going to stay that way uh, that should just be uh, that should be the real. That should just be what happens. So, even if they manipulate all my damage, they've got what? Uh, they've got five, ten, fifteen, fifteen plus one thirty. They've got two eighty. So they can knock out one of my Pokemon GX. Uh, if they do go and knock out my Metagross GX in the active position, then I can just attach and attack for game with literally anybody else. So. That's, uh, I think that's it. I think my opponent, yep, just not going to end up working out. I actually have to get ready to go to class. So short video today. Uh, I've got that graduate class that I am heading to, which is actually just uh, in Akron. And now my studio is in Akron, so that's pretty dope as well. But going to show off that Metagross list here one more time before I go. Uh, Aaron Rucker's list here, pretty sweet stuff. And uh, definitely a fun deck to play. Definitely does well against most Shrine decks, does well against those annoying stall decks as well. So definitely a solid pick if you are heading to the Memphis Regional Championships. As always, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub the channel, ring that bell, check out the Etsy store and the Patreon stuff in the description below. Peace.